Paula, Chef Paula with us. How do you do? I'm good. So uh, Paula, what, what was your first job? My first job uh, was when I was 16. And it was at the, as a ba banquet waitress at the Yankee Silversmith Inn. We were upstairs and it, uh, it was the beginning of my love of all things culinary. What was it, was it what you expected? I don't think I knew what to expect. You know, it was a, um, it, we did weddings and all kinds of parties, and I honestly had no idea what it was all about. And I didn't really love culinary prior to working. I just wanted a job. Um, but I re soon realized that it was just very interesting. You know, meeting the people, I loved working with, the, you know, my uh, clients there. Just learning more about food and food presentation and learning about the workings of a major restaurant. <clears throat> it was great. Uh, so, uh, how'd you get the job? Um, my dad, I, I believe my dad got the job for me. I think he was tired of hearing me complain, you know, about not having, like, gas money yeah. for the car, 50 cents a, a gallon. And he was a police officer in town, and I think he knew a lot of people, and I think he knew Mr. Meyer. And uh, I got the job. What do you remember most about the job? I remember that it was just exciting. It was, it was interesting. Um, it was very difficult. It was very tiring. And I loved every minute of it. Um, I also, you know, loved the, um, my colleagues, you know, the, the young kids, the 18 year old kids like myself uh, who just had we had such a camaraderie on uh, on Mondays when the restaurant was closed we all got together and we loaded into the cars and we drove down to Musquamacut and we um, you know bought grinders to eat and beer to drink and uh, we just had a we just had a fun time, and I'm friendly with some of them still to this day. Do you still remember uh, keep in touch with any of the people there? I do, yeah. A couple of the people we've become dear friends. How many people were there working with you? Well, I mean, there were a lot of waitresses, and um, but in terms of the us, those of us young people, there was the bartender and Gary, the busboy, and oh, maybe about ten, fifteen of us. You're a speech therapist by day, but you are a professional chef. Mm -hmm. Did your first job influence your profession? Um, it, it influenced my uh, wanting to go in, to actually go to culinary school. But that, I went to culinary school um, 2003, 2004, and I graduated with honors because I did my homework. And then I uh, decided to become a personal chef and then um, because I am a teacher, kind of by trade, um, I decided to see if teaching in the adult ed programs in local school systems was something I liked or I was good at, and, and it's, it's really worked out for me. So I've written, at this point, I think well over 50 courses that I teach. Um, I just shuffle them around. I'm teaching always new ones. And um, then uh, I'm... I'm baking for a local coffee house, um, and you know, I'm just always trying to kind of push the envelope. Are there any lessons that you learned from your first job that you still apply to today? Never give up. Never give up, and find find what your passion is. And if you don't find it initially, it's okay. You're going to find it, but you've got to keep trying. You've got to keep trying and never give up. If you had to describe your first job with one word, what would it be? Oh, awesome. Distra explain. It was fun. It was educational. Um, I developed long-term friendships. And, you know, when, when you're working in a... I always remember working in, in the summers, of course, because I was going to college in the school years. Um, the Oakdale, the Oakdale Musical Theater had their, had all kinds of performances. So we, um, you know, we were under the gun in terms of if people came in before the theater, you, we had to get their meal out, you know? Uh, and we do weddings in the afternoon on Saturday and then regular business Saturday night. And 
Um, I mean, it was fast-paced, but you learned how to, you know, get it all done. You learned how to pace yourself, and you learned how to deal with pressure and stress. And when you're in, in that environment, there's, there's a great deal of it. If you had to choose that first job again, would you? Oh, without a doubt. And is there anything that you'd like to say to uh, upcoming generation who are looking for their first job? Mm -hmm. I would say that you're going to have all kinds of experiences. Some of them are going to be positive, and you're going to know right away you love it. And some of them are going to be not very positive at all, and you're going to be um, working in a job that you know, you realize really quickly, I don't like this, I'm not good at it, and therefore I'm probably not going to be doing a great job. But those experiences are almost as much as, as important as the positive ones, you know, because then you really understand yourself as a person and yourself as a, as a working person. I have a very strong work ethic. I, oh, I have since I was walked into the Yankee Silversmith in the first day when I was 16, and I haven't lost it. Oh, thank you, Paula, for being on the show. My pleasure.